Auto Fanatic CT coming at you with another video. Guys, it's been a while. I know you've seen a few of my videos in terms of reviews and some shorts and things of that nature. We're back in the M340. As you can see with that beautiful Fiona Red Merino leather interior. As you know, Custom did it. Got it out of a 2024 G80 M3. Wanted to say what's up, see how you guys have been. Missed you all. The reason for this video is I quickly just want to talk about one of the features that I've been asked multiple times about. I figure why not? Let's just make a quick video. It's my way of saying hello, seeing how you guys have been doing. And it's the interior trim. This is the carbon fiber interior trim. Now, this is not your traditional carbon fiber interior trim that you're used to seeing. As you can see, it has the M Performance badge there. As I get closer, I want you to hear that. Is that, what is it, ASMR? Yes. Yes. You hear that? All right, guys, this is not the gloss carbon fiber interior trim that you guys are used to seeing in the G80 M3s and now the G20. Uh, the 2025 is now an option to have uh, that gloss carbon fiber interior. This has been a staple of mine ever since I got my first M340 in 2021. I ordered it with the M Performance carbon, fi uh, carbon fiber interior trim. This is raw carbon, guys. Let me see if I can get some nice detail here for you. You guys could see the weave. This is basically like the weave without the clear on it. So, and again, it's textured, you feel it. And here's what you get with this kit. You get the dash that goes all the way across here. See if you guys can see, I'm not sure if you can see it on the other end, but it does kind of curve up into the dash there. All right. You get the cup holder cover, as you can see here. So you get this. And you also get the, I want to say the shifter surround, but uh, the, the knob surround. I mean, what do we call this thing now? But it's the shifter surround here, as you guys could see. A bonus you guys get when you order it from the factory or you go to your local BMW uh, location dealer you also get the padded like little pillow little Alcantara pillow um, you get the um, nice soft black Alcantara knee pad here so when you're driving your knee is up against it you don't have that hard plastic over there or the leather this is actually compared to my 2021 that also had this kit this is a lot puffier now. So what they did, it was maybe like half the size. Now they made it a lot more plush because actually the last time, uh, my last uh, M340, it was not it was not even near my knee. So now this protrudes a little bit. It's a lot more comfortable. It looks a lot more premium. It comes on both sides over there. And let me tell you something, guys. Bouncing off the Fiona Red, this carbon fiber looks beautiful. Now some of you may not actually prefer the raw carbon interior and this was basically may i would say maybe the last year it's really worth getting unless you're really willing to pay for it because just so you guys know this is on my window sticker this was not an add-on i purchased my vehicle i built my m340 this is a 2024 uh m340 x drive drive it gray on Used to be Takora, now it's Fiona. But it bounces off beautifully. And it's up to you guys if you guys actually wanna take the plunge now. To be honest with you, I'm not even 100% sure if this is even an option anymore now that the carbon fiber interior is an option when you're building. I believe it's right under $1,000 to add. So what you're gonna get, you're gonna get carbon fiber, 
carbon fiber, carbon fiber. You're not gonna get these if you order the basic gloss carbon fiber. And I'm not 100% sure. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys have built it. Shame on me. I, I do handle the pre-owned department and my dealership at BMW. I don't really dabble with the new cars as much as I used to. But let me know, guys, if you guys are building the 2025 M3, uh, M340 online, let me know if this also comes in carbon with the paddles online when you build it. Let me know. And this is a great opportunity for me to ask each and every one of you, if you already haven't, subscribe to Auto Fanatic CT. I always come with you with the latest and greatest uh, material so on and so forth the newest things possible i want you guys to all be first to know again i do work for bmw so when i find out you guys will find out um yeah so this is this is it guys this is the carbon fiber interior trim if you are on the fence of ordering it or if you see a car that was built with it an m340 consider yourself lucky this was 1545 that was uh, the uh, the cost of the entire kit, and it was installed at the port. So it is on my window sticker. But the good news is, you can actually purchase this online. You can purchase it at your local BMW uh, uh, parts location, and they will be able to order for you now. The reason I'm, I was on the fence because I had it at my first one. I said, should I get it? Should I not? Maybe I'll just do the you know, basic brushed aluminum or uh, another opportunity, another choice, or like the dark wood and to save a few dollars. And I said, you know what? Let me do it. Now I'm glad I did it. You know why? Because I thought to myself, if I want, I can always do a nice little video and install it for you guys until I realized that the 2021, obviously the 2024, iDrives are completely different. You got the full screen now here, as you can see. There we go, baby. You see, hit my high beams. It actually, that's really cool. Look, I'm moving my wheel. It moves the wheel. You hit the signal, you get the signal. It's actually really cool. And when you're driving, the wheels actually move too. It's actually really cool. But back to what I was saying to you guys. The, I didn't realize when I was building I'm so glad I did the carbon fiber interior because I seen somebody else on Beamer Beamer post that actually had to remove the entire iDrive 8 screen, this entire screen, because as you can see, it sits now on top of that dash, that dash trim. My last one did not. It was actually a smaller piece of carbon fiber. So this has, you're getting a little bit more carbon fiber and it's a lot more, is it impossible? No. But it's a time saver and it's on the window sticker. It's nice to have something custom from BMW. So again, keep that in mind. If you're looking to do a trim on these newer um, LCIs, well, let's just say put some time aside for that because it's not gonna be quick and easy. And then you run the risk of damaging your uh, screen. And let me tell you, you don't wanna do that. There's no trim on the market worth you damaging this beautiful screen so again guys i i saw that a lot of my um watchers and viewers are not even subscribed i believe 97 percent of my viewers aren't subscribed what are you guys waiting for hit the subscribe your boy auto fanatic ct is here for you like i said i'm going to give you the latest and greatest you never know what i'm going to post i got my hands on all the beautiful stuff at bmw and who knows what car I'm going to get next. You just never know. Look at the interior swap that I did. Nobody really thought I was going to do that, especially with the Takora Red interior. Again, I know a lot of you have been asking if the passenger seat is working. It is not yet. But what I did when I, re I turned the battery off, I disconnected it, and I sat in it when I reconnected it because it has temporary power. And I basically... Uh, adjusted it to a point where an average adult would be comfortable sitting here and now it's kind of stabilized heated seats don't work the power doesn't work it, but it's locked in place here i do still have this warning here it's annoying as hell but my driver's side works completely fine 
I can do the heated, I have the lumbar support, front, back, you know, everything, the bottom, everything works. Eventually, we have to fix that. My time has just been so limited because I really don't have that many people in my passenger seat and because it's actually adjusted properly to the right, uh, basically, angle. I, I have left it alone for now. Not gonna say that it's not gonna happen. I'm obviously gonna get, get it fixed, but it just has been very busy for me, especially at work and uh, so on and so forth. So anyways, guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to your boy, your favorite M340 owner, Auto Fanatic CT, always coming at you. I miss you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this raw carbon. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Would you do the carbon fiber interior? Would you do wood? Would you do brushed aluminum? Let me know what you guys would do. Was I crazy for spending $1,500? Some say I am. I don't think so. It's the first thing people see when they get in the car. And like I said, the way it bounces off that red, there's nothing like carbon and red. My favorite. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Your boy, Auto Fanatic, is out.